Hi everyone, I'm Rucha Agarwal and I'm very happy and excited to say that today, 21st November, we celebrate our third birthday. It's a special day for all of us, a simple wish which our joint chairpersons, Ms. Taras Agarwal and Ms. Taras Goenka had about wanting to give back to the city, a simple passion which grew into what we call the Kolkata Center for Creativity today. It is a lot of responsibility that we have all taken on as a team to want to do it right by our artists, by people who are supporting us. As I look back, I see how we have gradually grown from strength to strength, making each mistake, getting up, moving on, making a newer one and getting up and moving on yet again. As I look back, I see how we've gradually grown up as one active, multifaceted gallery of modern and contemporary art in India, working as an interface between the artists, art institutions, viewers and larger art world. The gallery Imami Art opened its doors with a survey show of Dashrath Patel in 2018 and then we had several significant shows of masters like Jogen Chaudhary, Ravinda Reddy, Bose Krishnamachari and Patrick Pine and emerging young talented artists working with experimental media and concepts. It's been an exciting journey for all of us at Kolkata Centre for Creativity, Imami Art, HIAC, GRACE, TGS where we've met a lot of interesting people with the common agenda of wanting to do something right, not only for ourselves, but people around us as well. I've enjoyed personal relationships with a lot of creative individuals that we have worked with. On this particular day, I would like to thank not only people who have worked with us, but also every member of my team who has trusted and grown with complete dedication and creative effort, particularly through the pandemic where everyone was always available. It's been an amazing experience becoming part of the Imami Art family. And in, within this time, I have been able to work on several different kinds of programming. Along with the exhibition making, one of the programs that I'm really proud about is the Locus in Focus programming, which has introduced art, artists and other cultural activities from the region, which includes Bengal, Bihar, Odisha uh, and the Northeastern states. Uh, more recently, Within this programming, we are also doing the first Imami Art Residency Program, which will be an on-site residency program. We also have a monthly Locus in Focus project, which focuses uh, on bringing light to certain uh, artistic practices and agendas uh, in the region. Along with this, there is also the idea of pedagogy, and mentorship that is very important and this has been introduced by way of several other different kinds of programming which allows younger artists to be part of the larger work that we do. We offer mentorships, we offer a space for younger artists to come and talk and show their works. Along with this, publications is also very important and in this past year, uh, Imami Art has uh, come out with several important publications on artists uh, such as Jogain Chaudhary, K.C. Pine, uh, Dashrath Patel, Bose Krishnamachari and others. More are in the pipeline. Also to extend the dialogue, we've also brought in exhibition of folk and traditional arts within the gallery system, talking about them and giving them uh, giving the artists uh, a space within contemporary practices and this is a very important thing that we want to work towards. Uh, the exhibition called Karu, where we were able to bring together diverse practices from across India, folk and uh, traditional craft. Uh, artists, uh, eminent artists like Bhuri Bhai were part of this exhibition and as a collateral we even brought Parvati Baul here with us to give us a great demonstration of Baul Sangeet. Along with all these practices, Imami is also part of uh, fairs, both national and international. We have recently shown several of our artists at a very major fair in Italy and some major exhibitions in uh, museums in Italy. And I think this is just the beginning and Imami Art Programming, henceforth, will look into 
diversifying more and more into areas that not only talk about contemporary uh, critical practices, but also look at exhibition making or projects and seminars that talk about our history, uh, whether it is in art or in design or in folk and other traditions. On behalf of Kolkata Center for Creativity, Imami Art, TGS, Grace and Kiak, I'd like to thank everyone who's been a part of our journey and invite all of y'all to join hands with us and take this creative effort forward.